By definition, the word destiny is the predetermined or inevitable course of events. Tony Gwynn was always destined for greatness, though it seemed for a time it wasn't meant to come on the baseball field. Former big league shortstop Bobby Meacham was on a recruiting visit to San Diego State in his senior year in high school, sitting in the office of baseball coach Jim Dietz. He was surprised by a familiar figure walking down the hall. Is that Tony Gwynn? Meacham asked Dietz. I didn't know he was on the team. Dietz smiled. He isn't. He's on the basketball team. Meacham was quick to inform the coach. He's the best baseball player I've ever played against. Had it not been for that chance encounter, Gwynn likely would have never played baseball in college. And the general manager of the Padres at that time, Jack McKeon, he would have never laid eyes on the future Hall of Famer. I have seen San Diego State 20 times. And all of a sudden, we play them an exhibition game the night before the season starts. And I'm sitting up in the box with the athletic director, and I see this guy come up. And he triples off Juan Eichelberger, and he doubles off Steve Miura, and he's running the bases like he had eyes behind his back. And I said, who, who is this guy? I've seen you play 20 games. Who is this guy? He says, it's Tony Gwynn. I said, he's the best player you got in this team. So I went back to our people, and now the draft came by. And I said, I want Tony Gwynn a second. And uh, a couple of our cross-checkers and scouts in the room said, well, I got a guy named Billy Long out of Miami of Ohio. And I said, well, I didn't see Billy Long. And I said, now you guys telling me that you saw Billy Long and Tony Gwynn? Yes. And you're telling me Billy Long's better than Tony Gwynn? They said, yes. What can I do? You know, so I said, okay, we'll take Billy Long. But Tony Gwynn is taken next, regardless. No, no questions. And basically, we were lucky enough to get Tony Gwynn in the third round. Number 19. Tony Gwynn. In his 20 years in the big leagues, Tony Gwynn played with just one team, earning him the nickname Mr. Padre. He won eight batting titles, and he earned five gold gloves for his defensive abilities in the outfield. A 15-time All-Star, Gwynn was inducted into Cooperstown on the first ballot in 2007. Despite the accolades, Gwynn was a perfectionist working tirelessly throughout his career to improve his game. He never thought he arrived as a player. He never stopped improving uh, um, and trying to get better as a hitter, a base runner, uh, an outfielder. And that's what I learned from Tony that uh, made him so great is, is uh, he never stopped working. He never stopped trying to be the best player that he could be. There's a drive, right center field, base hitter, there it is! Ho oh, ho, doctor! You can hang a star on that, baby! A star for the ages for Tony Gwynn, number 3,000. I hope he enjoyed hitting because I enjoyed watching him hit. He made it be an art and uh, perfected it. But, you know, it wasn't work for him. He loved it. He loved it with a passion. You know, the great players, usually it's not work. You take 100 fly balls because it's the best fun you've ever had. That's how Tony Gwynn was. Tony deserved every honor and accolade he can get because he had the desire, determination to be an all-star and a Hall of Famer. And I'm so happy that he achieved that one. Steady. I mean, that's all it is. I mean, emotionally, on the field, off the field. He was great to always be around because he made us, you know, excitable boys a little more calm. Thanks, Tony. Bye, Tony. We'll miss you. Baseball will miss you. One of the great ambassadors in this game.